ladies and gentlemen, loyal imperial citizens and rebel scum alike, welcome to another Liam Maiden gameplay video. Back with more Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes today. It's part two, or hopefully the final part, of our unlock of General Anakin Skywalker. Um, if you missed the first video that I made, I'll put a link in the top right hand corner and also one down below in the description. Do check that out. That's where I go through tiers one and two of the General Anakin Skywalker Legendary Unlock. Uh, today we're going to be completing tiers three and four. Fingers crossed we're going to be completing tiers three and four and finally unlocking General Anakin Skywalker in all his glory. Okay, so starting with tier three here, the only unit we get is this borrowed unit, General Skywalker, and we've got to use his abilities in tandem um, to try and take down Asajj Ventress in this one on one duel. So I didn't have to do any grind, any investing for this one. They just give you this character. I've done a little bit of research, so I have a strategy, but let's see how it plays out. Man, the, the animation does look weird. I do think General Anakin Skywalker's face looks kind of weird in some of these animations here. You weren't going to leave without saying hello, were you? I was beginning to think you wouldn't show. And here I thought you knew me better than that. Okay, let's test that theory. So your best bet here from everything that I've seen uh, seems to be to use this middle ability. We've only got three abilities that we can use, only got the one character. And the best bet seems to be, the soundest strategy seems to be to use this middle ability first and then to switch to the ultimate ability, that third ability, whenever you can. So let's take a look at this middle ability um, right now and see what it's got. So Sundering Strike, uh, deal physical damage to target enemy and inflict armor shred. If they're dazed, this attack deals double damage. If this is the first ability General Skywalker uses, uh, reset force grip cooldown and use it if possible. Force grip, so this is the ultimate ability. Deal physical damage to all enemies, daze them for two turns. If possible, this attack will critically hit enemies with armor shred. This is the first ability Skywalker uses, then you use Sundering Strike and reset the cooldown. Wow, so there's a lot of interplay between these two here here um, that the general consensus is to use this one first boom boom okay very strong opening there so that was using the middle ability and then it automatically used that third ability and it's taken a turn off each of those cooldowns so we can use them again in two turns that's the basic boom okay that was an automatic attack there boom and now they're ready to go again this is a good strategy. This seems to be working so far. We've got one stack of armor shred um, on Ventress. So uh, I think I'm going to do this ultimate ability now. Okay, boom. That was nice. And she heals. Annoying. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Good. So that was going to be a oh, so that was going to be a problem with the the stun here, but we've done this. Boom. Very easy. Rex, Ventress is on the move, and she's headed your way. You know what to do. Yes, sir. We'll be ready. That was easy. I was not expecting that to be so easy. So there you go. That's the solution. Start with the middle ability and use the third one whenever it's available. Boom. Okay, so onwards and upwards. On to tier four, uh, the final tier. This is going to give us the final shards that we need to unlock General Anakin Skywalker. Now, this time we do have to use characters. These are the characters I've been farming, Asajj Ventress and the Separatist Droid. So let's go over and take a quick look at the team we're going to be using today. So there we go. It's the Phase 4 team there, just under the Phase 2 team, Asajj, Ventress, and the Separatist Droids. Now, conventional wisdom states that Phase 4 is actually much harder than Phase 2. If you did watch that Part 1 video, I actually had a lot of trouble um, with Phase 2. I ended up throwing a lot of extra gear uh, onto these characters here. Um, and as you can see, there's a big power difference here. So it's 134,000 for that Phase 2 team and only 117,000 for this Phase 4 team. So I'm really really hoping that phase four is not as bad as everybody says and we have enough gear here um, to get through. I think I think most of the, the reason people were finding phase four really difficult at the beginning was because they weren't used to facing gas. They were facing this character that was brand new in the game. Obviously gas has been in the game for quite a while now. I've faced uh, General Skywalker many, many times in Grand Arena and in Squad Arena too. So I know what I'm, I'm up against. I know what I'm dealing with. Hopefully that is going to kind of play into my strategy and this team will be enough. The only 
recommend uh, Relic 3. I've taken them up to Relic 4, but let's start with the weakest player. Let's take a look at Ventress. Okay, so here we go. So Ventress, I have not relic So I've kept her at um, gear 12, although I have got five pieces of gear on her, so she's very close to being relic I could relic her if I wanted to. You'll notice I have not put any Zetas on her. I really don't think Ventress is going to be that important um, in this matchup. She's really just there because she needs to be there. It's going to be the droids that bring this home for us. Uh, in terms of modding, I've modded Ventress for um, crit damage and crit chance. Again, you know, I don't think she's going to be that important, but when she does strike, I do want her to be landing those crits and hopefully doing a decent amount of damage, but I, I predict she's going to be one of the first characters to get knocked off, uh, largely just because I haven't invested in her with the gear. Is that going to be my downfall? I don't know. Let's wait and see. Okay, moving into the droids B2. So as I said, the recommended uh, relic level for tier four is relic three. I've taken all of these droids up to relic four. I'm hoping that little boost of power is gonna help me out there. Um, I've also put all the Zetas, all the, there's only one Zeta rather, but I've taken all of B2's abilities up to the maximum level. And as you can see, I have modded him here for potency. Now, the reason I've done that is because B2 has the buff cleanse that he does, that kind of uh, relentless barrage or, or no mowing down rather than mowing down ability. Um, just removes buffs from the enemy. I, I really want to see him doing that, removing buffs from that clone army when we face them. Uh, let's see if it works. Next we got Magna Guard. Um, obviously he's going to be our tank, the only one with a taunt on the team, so he's probably going to be, it might actually be the first the first one down. He's definitely going to be one of the first ones down there. Maybe he can land a few stuns. I've modded him for tenacity. Um, we'll see about that. Um, yeah, not much to say here. Basically he's just kind of along for the ride as the tank, as the distraction. Droid Akar, Destroyer Droid. Um, this guy is going to be our damage dealer. I want the Destroyer Droid to be deleting uh, clones as soon as gas goes down. When he goes down for his nap, I want this guy to literally be just deleting fives, deleting wrecks, deleting them off the screen in front of me. To that end, I have modded him um, again for crit damage and for crit chance. I really want him to be landing those big hits. Again, I've put the Zetas on him. His Zeta is a must. That would be my advice anyway. Finally, we got the Slim Jim, uh, the B1 himself. So Roger Roger is here uh, really to help keep people alive. He can throw around that heal at the cost of some of his um, stacks of, uh, of B1. Um, and he's also going to be doing damage when he can. But really, everybody is here to support B2 and to support uh, Droidica. Um, again, I've thrown all of the Zetas and taken everyone up to Relic 4, which gives them uh, 24,600 power. Uh, hopefully, that is going to be enough. Um, B1 I modded, by the way, for potency and crit damage. Uh, we're just going to have to wait and see, guys. I, I really think I stand a pretty good chance, um, but if needs be, I'm willing to take these droids up to Relic 5. I'd probably do that before I would Relic Asajj Ventress, but let's give this team a shot and see how well we do. All right, tier four, let's take a look. So they're recommending 22,000 power. Obviously, we've got more than that. Now, strategy tips, I think if you're used to facing um, a General Skywalker, as I said, if you face gas in arena, if you face him in squad arena, this is not gonna be new to you. So 501st clone troopers can't lose health while General Skywalker is advancing, but they can lose protection. Uh, Skywalker and 501st can push attacks from, can punish attacks from your squad that damage all enemies. Um, and determining the best order in which to take out the clones while Skywalker is down for his nap is going to be key for victory. So again, what you want to do is make sure that you're taking out fives, because obviously fives is going to sacrifice. So you definitely want to take out fives first, um, then probably Rex, uh, Rex, Arc, and Echo. You're just basically going to go for the damage dealers after that, but make sure you go for fives first. And this is going to give us the final uh, shards that we need to uh, take him up to 145, going to be slightly over that. We're going to unlock him. Fingers cross let's do this i'm actually pretty nervous there's the squad uh let's let's see how we do let's let's just do this fingers crossed boom here we go kind of nervous boom the man himself look it's the general. I suppose you expect me to surrender. Sounding like a cross between the Emperor and Stewie Griffin there. I thought that I'd leave that up to the clones this time. Okay, there we go. 
Oof. Okay. So B1 taking some damage there. So here, what here's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna use this AOE B2's AOE um, whenever we can. Whenever that's available, we're gonna throw it out there to try and take some heat off these clones. So there you go. That buff D cleanse. Uh, so Magna Guard taking a lot of damage here. Again, hitting with the AOE. Um, I'm not really too worried about their um, their retaliatory attacks. We've got the shield up on Droidica, so this is going well so far. Let's try and give a little bit of protection up over to Magna Guard. Boom, and he's down for his first nap. Perfect. So what we're going to do is we are going to take out Fives. Fives is our first target here. Oof, this is good. I am very pleased with... Boom! I am so pleased with how this is going so far. Fives down on the first nap. I'll take it. So we're probably about to lose Magna Guard. Boom. Bye-bye. But I do not really care. That's that's him down. Boom. Gas down for another nap. So now we're going to take out Rex. Got to take out Rex before he gets aerial advantage, obviously. Boom. Wow. This is going very smoothly. Boom. Bye-bye, Echo. Wow. So we've just got Skywalker and Arc Trooper left. Oh, Droidica's invulnerable, so that didn't do anything. And we've only lost Magna Guard. This is outstanding. It's the first time I've ever tried this tier. Can't believe this is going so well. Um, yeah, we're just gonna we just gotta take that protection off, obviously. Wow, this is outstanding. I really did not think we'd be going as well the first time. Even if we lose this, this is a success. But I gotta say, it's looking great. Boom! That was outstanding. Four tunes still on the field, and all we have to do is take out Skywalker. Okay, bye bye Ventress. Okay, bye bye B2. Oh, okay, okay, maybe we're about to die. Oh no, we can get the shield up. Boom! We've done this. This is outstanding. Droidica versus General Anakin Skywalker, and we're invulnerable. Boom! We did it! Oh my god! Oh my god! That was awesome! Well, the pleasure's been all mine, Skywalker. You and your friends may have stopped our attack, but you won't get the satisfaction of defeating me. Wow, I can't believe we did that first time. Maybe this time, Ventress, but next time you won't be so lucky. I'll be looking forward to it then. Wow. I cannot believe it. The final 50 shards in the bag. Boom, 160. More than we need for the unlock. I love it. I love it. Boom. Slowly collecting more and more of those little portraits there. Activate this character, you betcha. Let's do it. Boom. Boom. There we go. General Anakin Skywalker. So he is a five-star unlock. Which is, it, it feels a little cheap having put all of that effort in to only get him up at five stars. Let's take him up to, to I'm not going to throw everything on him right now. It's going to take me time to look at the mods and everything. But let's quickly just take him up to level 85. So he's going right to the top of my priority list in terms of who I am gearing up. Well, there we go. So, yeah, as I said, it feels a little cheap. He's not the only character. This is something they started doing with these kind of legendary and epic characters that they unlock them at five star. Uh, Malak is the same, and then you've got, to, um, you've got to get additional shards for them, and you're getting these extra shards from the stores, right? So you're spending either uh, the Mark I event currency or crystals to get those additional shards, and you're going to need another, well, pretty much another uh, 150 to take him up to uh, the 300. Um, I've got a few extra because they gave out some free shards a little while ago, one of our Christmas gifts a couple of years ago. That's why I've got those few 
extra there, but it's going to take me a while to fully take him up to seven star and be able to relic him and enjoy uh, the full power, but he's going to be quite usable um, even at five star. You can take him up to gear 11, you can throw those Zetas on him, and if you relic um, the rest of your clone trooper squad, he really is quite usable even at that level. Well, there you go. That is the unlock. Um, so it turns out that um, all the Zetas and Relic 4 was more than enough on the on the droids there. And Asajj Ventress um, just at uh, gear 12 was um, more than adequate. So I don't know if that was overkill and I don't know how much RNG really played into our experience there. Um, if you've unlocked gas already, let me know down below uh, what your experience was like in tier 4 and in tier 2 as well um, and the kind of levels you were bringing in because I think after my experience with tier 2, I kind of went overboard a little bit there, taking them up to Relic 4. I feel like if I could go back in time, I would try this at Relic 3. Um, obviously, I only had Droidica still standing at the end there, but that felt pretty comfortable. And as I say, that was the first time I'd ever tried that tier. Um, so that was very, very easy at Relic 4. Well, there you go. Thanks for being a part of this journey with me. I hope that you have found this video um, interesting, uh, entertaining, informative. Hopefully it will help you on your way to unlocking gas and you can learn from my experience um, as I have shared it here. As always, comments, criticism, suggestions, more than welcome down below. I love to read anything uh, that you want to leave down below in the comments for me there. Um, do let me know how you're getting on with your unlocks, whether it's General Anakin Skywalker or other un unlocks in the game always love to hear from you um, well that is all from me today uh, if you have enjoyed this video found it informative or entertaining in any way please consider giving it a like uh, thumbs up down below I really do appreciate it and it helps out the channel and hey while you're here why not consider subscribing to Liam Maiden gameplay I drop new gameplay videos for Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes a Marvel Strike Force every single week and I would love to have you along for the ride that is all from me today I'll see you in the next one in the meantime Look after each other, and remember, the Force will be with you. Always.